even then, perpetrators and those who carry out terrorism acts must be punished and they will be punished according to the law in place for punishment of the offenses. As indicated in the judgment, according to me, counts number two to count number 150, which were commission of a terrorist act, should have been should have constituted one charge and not a myriad of counts as was done in this case. The sentencing the accused persons for three offenses, that is conspiracy to commit a terrorist act, committing a terrorist act, and being a member of a terrorist group. Not much taka makosa, yes. The count the charges are one fifty but the offenses are three, yes? I've considered the fact that all the accused persons have been in custody for about four and a half years. The first and second accused persons are remorseful, even as they maintain their innocence and take up the challenge to a higher court as it is their right. They were not found at the scene of the crime. They were arrested a long distance away, going in a different direction from where the crime had taken place. <laughs> the evidence against them makes them not principal offenders, but secondary offenders. I'll therefore convict them as follows. For the first and second accused person on the charge of conspiracy to commit a terrorist act, each of them will serve 15 years imprisonment. This sentence is reduced by the term already served in prison to 11 and a half, 13, uh, sorry, to 10 and a half years imprisonment. Commission of a terrorist act on each of the counts two to 150, uh, to 150 each is sentenced to 30 years imprisonment, and this will also be reduced by four and a half years four and a half years, and so they will serve for 25 and a half years imprisonment. Now, these two sentences will run concurrently, meaning they'll serve 25 and a half years imprisonment. There is then membership of a terrorist group, and each of them will serve 20 years imprisonment. Reduced by four and a half years, it will come to 15 and a half years imprisonment. This sentence will run consecutive to the first two. In total, therefore, the first and second accused person will serve 41 years imprisonment each. The fifth accused person was found at the scene of the crime. I have considered his pre-sentence report, and he has indicated therein himself that he was actually going to join the Al-Shabaab group in Somalia. He is therefore sentenced as follows. I will sentence him to commission of a terrorist act on each of the counts two to 150 where he will serve life imprisonment. I have also sentenced him on the first count of conspiracy to commit a terrorist act as well as on the third uh, offense of membership of a terrorist group. I have indicated the sentences, but given the life imprisonment that has been meted out on the commission of a terrorist act, those sentences will remain in abeyance. You have a right of appeal within 14 days.